What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bull Shot Darts. In this one, I'm going to go over the huge news of Danny Lauby Jr. getting a Target Darts contract. So big congratulations to Danny. We're all super happy for you and proud of you. But first, if you're new, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Drop this video a thumbs up and follow Bull Shot Darts on Facebook and Instagram as well. So Danny Lauby Jr. getting this contract is huge, huge news and such a big deal for American Darts. So in this one, I'm just going to talk about why it's so important for us over here. And the first is that we have an American player that is signed with a big global dart company. So most American dart players that have their own set of darts, it's usually a smaller company that isn't really known around the world. Target Darts is one of the biggest dart companies in the world. So the fact that they're putting their faith in an American dart player is absolutely huge. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, Danny Baggish has a contract with Target Darts as well. And yes, that is a big deal. But Danny Baggish has his PDC Tour card now. So yes, he's from North America, but he's playing in PDC events now. Whereas Danny Lauby is a CDC player. That is the Championship Darts Corporation. That is our big tour here in North America. So yes, he has played on the big stage overseas in the World Championship, the World Cup. But at the end of the day, he's a North American player. He's a CDC player. So this, op I, I feel like this opens up the door for all top tier dart players in the continent. Now, of course, you have to perform well and put yourself in a situation to where they feel they can trust you. But the thing is, no one really thought that an American player could get a contract with such a big company like Target. You know, it's one of those things you just kind of assume like, oh, they only want the biggest players in the world and PDC players. But Danny Lau will be getting this contract is showing that they are willing to put faith in American players. Now, will Danny Lauby get his PDC Tour card eventually? I think it is safe to say that, yes, he will be a PDC Tour card holder. But they're willing to invest in him now when he is still a CDC player. So this is just really exciting because, you know, we have a lot of really good players out here. And this is going to help legitimize American darts because people are going to see, like, oh, Target signed Danny Lauby Jr.? Now, if you didn't watch the World Championship, his matches, or the World Cup, the American matches, you might be like, well, who is this guy? So they're going to look into it, and they're going to see, like, oh, this guy's from the United States? Like, you know, they've been a laughing stock of darts for so long, and I hate to say that, but, you know, unfortunately, it's true. No one really has ever given us American players too much credit, but Target Darts, like I said, has legitimized an American player now, so people are going to see that and they're going to respect that. And they might go back and be like, well, who is this Danny Lauby guy? Like, let's go back and look at some matches. And they're going to go back and they're going to watch him on the World Cup stage, the World Championship stage, or they'll watch him winning the Continental Cup here. And they're going to see that he's, well, one, of course, a really damn good dart player. <laughs> but also, he's just really exciting to watch. He's lefty, he throws fast, he's aggressive on the dartboard. Even if he's not hitting his target that well, he is still a dart player that people will want to watch just because of his style. So that's huge. So now these players that had no idea who he was are now going to see this and they're like, oh man, he's really exciting. And in that journey, of course, Danny's going to be playing someone from America in these videos. So now all of a sudden, they're getting exposed to these players too. So, for I mean, Gary Mawson's pretty well known because he's been in the World Cup and stuff. But for instance, like the Continental Cup, you know, he played Gary Mawson in the finals. People might see that like, oh, Gary Mawson. Let's go look at his video. So this could just on the global scale, it could just open up so much because such a big problem that we have here in America is that it's not darts isn't really a spectator sports here. Wait, darts isn't really a spectator's sport here in the United States. 2019 was the first time that we had a paid event where people actually paid to sit in the crowd and watch darts. So that was a really big deal. Now, that's what we need more of. So the more eyes that we get on American darts, the more that's going to help. So 
this kind of ties back to what I was saying about people going back and watching his matches, you know, hopefully that snowballs. And, you know, now we have fans all over the world cheering for Danny Lauby. They see the other American players he's playing against and they become fans of them. Then they realize like, oh my gosh, like America has the CDC tour. I'm going to start tuning into their live Facebook streams and keeping up with that. So the more eyes that we can get on American darts is going to help. So, oh, I feel like I've been rambling on about this. I hope I'm not like repeating myself. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but um, it's just going to help get more eyes on the sport, but more specifically American darts. So we have this big global company putting faith in an American player. And now once we get more American players top tier, you know, you don't have that feeling of, man, I need to get a PDC tour card to get like a cool contract with a big dark company. So that's basically where I was going with that one. But it's also going to help grow the sport, like I said, because people are now going to tune in to Danny Lauby matches and they're going to see him playing other Americans. And it's hopefully just going to snowball from there. So, all right, enough about that. <laughs> Another thing that's huge about this is Danny Lauby's a young player. He's only 28 years old. So darts is generally dominated by older people. And when I say older people, you know, in the NFL, you know, 30 years old is old. <laughs> but in darts, it's like, it's way different than that. Because you people play darts all the way up to their 50s and 60s. 28 in the sport of darts is young. So I think they're really looking for a long-term investment here. And as long as Danny Lauby keeps kicking ass the way he's been doing, he's going to have this contract with Target hopefully renewed over and over. And he will be kind of like a big front runner for American darts. And like I said, Danny Baggish having this contract too is huge. But, you know, just specifically talking about Lauby here. So... Hopefully that also just leads to, like I was saying before, more players getting signed by Target and just getting more eyes on the sport here. So the fact that he's young is going to be huge because he's he's only getting better too. He's 28 and he's still getting better. So that's just another huge thing why this is so important for North American darts. Oh man, what else did I even write down? I don't even remember what I wrote down here, but I think I pretty much went over everything. But another big thing too is that... I didn't think about this until Worldwide Darts commented on one of my videos. If you don't watch Worldwide Darts, make sure you go check out his channel. Uh, he does reviews and he's just a phenomenal player. So I like watching him play and he does reviews and just all of his content's really good. So if you're looking for more dar darts content, check it out. But I made a video about Danny Baggish when he got his PDC Tour card. And he made a comment that also relates to this. And that is the fact that... Danny Lauby's signature darts probably aren't going to be that expensive. Danny Baggish's weren't, so we just kind of assume that Danny Lauby's won't. If you want like a really nice set of signature darts, you're usually going to be spending over $100. I have not spent less than $100 on a set of darts, and you know, I would like to. It's just unfortunate that darts that I really like are just more expensive, but darts can get expensive to buy. But if a player sees that, oh, I can buy these signature darts from a pro player and they're only like 50 or 60 bucks, like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And so that's going to kind of open up the door for more dart sales for an American player. And when they see that those sales are up, once again, it's going to be just kind of the snowball effect. Hopefully it just goes into other players from here in the country. So Having cheap darts is going to be nice because it's going to help more people buy. And someone who's new to the sport would be more inclined to buy them too. They're like, oh, professional player, signature darts, awesome, and they're not even that expensive. I'll get them. Oh, I feel like I've just been going on and on and on. I don't know what else I'm going to say here, but, you know, this is just a big deal. And I don't want to put, like, too much pressure on Danny Lauby because, you know, He's just an awesome player, and I would hate to add that extra pressure, but he does have a lot riding on his back right now, and so does Danny Baggish. So they're the front runners of American darts right now, and I can't really think of many other people I would want in that position. So I'm really excited that we got these two guys out there, you know, kicking ass for American darts, putting us on the map, and showing the world that 
you know, we do have players here. We are getting better. And it's not going to be long until we have an American world champion of darts. All right, guys. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, big congratulations to Danny Lauby. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one and shoot well.